Hi, I'm Lily Anderson Messick with the Florida Native Plant Society and I'm out in North Florida today doing a terrain survey on privately owned lands and I spotted these plants right here uh, that I wanted to um, talk about real quick because they are a real problem. So this is Ligustrum japonicum. It's um, a non-native privet species. It's native to Asia and it's sold, you know, many of the species, the plants that you would buy at a big box store or at most garden centers for your yard that are readily available and recommended to you are not native to the U.S. And they become a problem when um, at some point they creep out into natural areas and then they start spreading. And because they didn't evolve here with all of these associate species, they have no natural system of checks and balances to keep them from proliferating exponentially. So these species, they've popped up in here and soon they will begin creating such a dense thicket that they will shade out all the other vegetation. They'll start to alter the flow, natural flow of water um, in the steep head ravine and they end up starving out our wildlife and eventually us because they replace the plants that are a natural functioning um, part of the ecosystem. These plants are not functioning members of the ecosystem. Our native insects and wildlife have not evolved with them and are not adapted to eat them. And they're, so they're taking up resources, water, nutrients, light, and space and they are not passing that energy back up the food chain. And so they become a severe problem. They're basically the ecosystems around us that support us, that human life depends upon, are like a very delicate machine that um, is functioning, you know, in a very complicated manner. And when you throw something like a non-native species into that machine, it's like throwing a wrench into it and it like, begins to clog up the machine and eventually the machine stops working. And that machine, our functioning ecosystems, are what provide clean air, clean water, food for us, buffer extreme weather systems, and do all sorts of things called ecosystem services that we as humans rely upon. So um, that's a problem, that's a real issue. So that's why it's always safest and best to plant native plants in your yard and in your garden and um, remove invasives, get to learn what invasive species are common in your area and how best to remove and manage them.